least five pieces of netherite before I leave. Not a bad idea. By five, I mean, uh, let's see, for nether scraps. What does power uh, enchant? Is it like swords? Add more power to the sword. Okay. Because like makes sharpness sword, is like, enchant as well, right? Yeah. Makes the sword like hit. Like What's the difference power. between sharpness and power? Uh... It's for bows. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Never mind. I'm, I'm brain. Oh, <laughs> My, my brain is brain right now. Oh, I can't give it that as well? Oh. How many times can you add uh, powers to weapons? Um, You can actually combine it in an anvil. Yeah, I'm doing that uh, now, but it's not letting me. I don't know why. With another power book. You know, I've got, like, I've got a sword that I want to put sharpness on, but it's not letting me. Oh well. Uh -oh. Maybe uh, it's got smite on it already. Yeah, there there's a limit to how many gems you can put, okay. or like a certain number of gems can't. Um, yeah, that's fine. Can't, like, oh no! Oh no! Oh no! No no no! Oh no! No 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 no! no, no. Yeah, that's the song, right? Yep. Tick tock. Did walking yes. on soul sand just kick me for flying? <laughs> oh boy! Oh what? boy! Oh boy. Full it just like, kicked me for flying. No, let me speak now, but... Here. I'm here oh, with no, my magical sword. <laughs> What's the villager? Uh, yeah, the sword is <laughs> that. Oh, it's behind Kyoku. That. Want to add sharpness too to it as well. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Oh, I need to not run from my farm. I should enchant a bow as well. Um, get away, get away. Ooh, uh, I'm trapped in a corner. Not good. Get away. Get away, please. Oh, I got a weather school. It didn't. It just said like a big X on it. Now it's gonna take me forever to get another one. Ah, fuck. Off. Get away. <laughs> oh, is quick charge not a bow ability? Crossbow ability. I know a bunch of arrows, but I don't know why. Oh, God. Fun time farming. That's why I built this farm. It's very satisfying just to break lots of things. I find. <laughs> I like breaking. <laughs> yeah. I see. What a beautiful map. And then I had a sharpness 2 book in my house. Let me go find it. 
kind of. There, there's the book as well. Ooh, that's it's time for me. Oh, okay. Yikes. It's on the ground right here. Sorry. Oh, it's a water bucket. Welcome back, Reboundless. Or Bubbles. How's your head going so far? Oh. The Soul Sand farm kind of got hurt. Any more than another uh, Soul Sand? Wonderful. Uh, it's not family server, but if family wants to join, they're welcome too. It's just, uh, this is my personal server I've got. So, I'm pretty much letting anyone who wants to be into my channel join. It's not super big or anything, but... Thanks, Willie. Yes, Kyoku is very precious. I'm glad that you are. No. I need gravel. How do you get gravel easily? I'd like to get arrows, but arrows seem like they're kind of roughly hard to get. I see. I see. You Some, see? Like, cobblestone. <laughs> Just like dotted around that you guys placed. I have no idea <laughs> where the board was. Fair enough. You should make a tunnel thingy. Tunnel thingy? I don't know what yeah. that means. <laughs> a tunnel yeah. thingy that can guide you back. The portal. I can take these. Do I have any? Nope. Soul sand. I need to go get more soul sand. Let me build a and enchant a shovel. How many people will party next week? Um. So far, I've only got a couple people who want to play pummel party with me. I replay to every. Oh, we were playing pummel party and. That was the really big collab that I didn't have fun on. Yeah. 
Well, I'm doing a few people from the family, um, and you're welcome to join if you want, Kyoku. It's going to be next Wednesday. Cause I like my Wednesdays to be um, collab days. You don't feel obligated to. Oh, thank Father. Of course. Yeah. If uh, Bubbles is free, Bubbles is looking like they might be here, which would be cool. Yeah. Unlike everyone else, my classes don't start until April. <laughs> what is it? Until April, I do nothing but streaming. That is a Mary you and the Apex <laughs> was like, that's a new feature. You play a uh, Valorant, right, Kyoku, as well, don't you? Valorant Apex Rainbow. What's Rainbow? Rainbow Six Siege. Ah. It's a sh pew pew game. Pew pew. Pew Yep. I don't like the potatoes. I just like doing the food. Uh, my Six. I don't know the maps either, but I'm gonna play it with friends because R6 looks fun, but I honestly don't know how I'm supposed to buy the game. Seems like there's like a million to gold, gold to the nether. If you wear gold to the nether, they won't attack you. Yeah, that's what I've heard. But, but you're getting attacked. No, it's okay. What? He's a ghast. Run away! Take cover! You play R6 on console? Here's the thing I've heard about console. It's for scrubs. You can buy it on Steam. Is that console... Anything that has controller has aim assist. Something like that. Yeah. So, adjusting to PC is very different. It's a different like, thing with your hands. Because so. I not only know this because Apex and... Uh, Apex and... Uh, what was it? Blah, blah, blah. Apex has... What's it called? You can play on console and cross PC. It's crossplay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's crossplay. So. I just figured they all have amethysts. That money was gold, another angi. Oh, oh, oh god, they're trying to build me into lava. Oh god. Ah, I see, I see. It doesn't have it's the only one that doesn't have amethysts on console. Oh, interesting. Cool. Order. Oh, congrats. Only because I did a raffle. Yay! I mean, hey, it's better than nothing, right? Mm -hmm. It's gonna be of this outfit. Oh, cool. Ha ha ha. 
<laughs> FF14. Yeah, I like oh. FF14 a lot. It's a very fun game. Really, I cried. Because I couldn't understand how to get around. <laughs> it didn't make any sense to me. I am. I am so lost. <laughs> I'm just connect and just chill for now. I'm... Sounds good. It's okay. I am uh, beyond lost at this point. Uh, you could just build a random nether portal and then walk back using a compass. Uh, yeah. You could get some oh, actually, obsidian. No, I do. I just don't have a flint and seal. Ah, you can, can you get flint and seal in the nether? I have iron mm, blocks. I, don't I know. So. Willie can get you apparently, so there's that. I just need elf flint over. Where is they populate this nether farm, huh? I want to be paid out. <laughs> Twitch. Which confirm the payment? I need to pay the people that make instrumental. Is there gravel anymore than ever? There used to be. But. Uh, I couldn't tell you. I know there's sometimes flint and steel in nether fortresses. You say what? In the forts in the chest, they sometimes have flint and steel. Yeah. No, I already commissioned people. Bobbles. It's for like recreating and uh, recreating instrumentals and uh, for oh, some songs. So cover. it's it's like live band instrumentals. So we had someone record like guitar, bass, everything. That's really cool. From like scratch. Um, I found um, soul sand made by one of you guys. Oh no, creeper! Not on the soul sand, please. Creeper, oh man. Actually, hold up, I've got a bow in my inventory. What am I doing? Back to the base. Oh, I see you. There you go. Here you are. Hey, teamwork. <laughs> no, I'm good. It's just uh, the soul sand that's making me slow. Links too often, weird. I mean, if anyone is ever looking for music, though, I've got a couple of my good friends have a Discord server full of musicians who do collabs and like have BMPs and stuff. If anyone's looking for that, That's cool. yeah. Oh, creeper! Oh my god! <laughs> In the Nether? No, as soon as I walked out of the portal. Oh, of course. Although that you should have more redeemed. I should, should I? What should I redeem? Uh, you should do like voice signing or something like that. Okay. Alright, let's uh let's do one. Let's make one right now. What should I make? Let's go into my uh, channel content creator dashboard. An Ara Ara redeem? Alright. Do it. Okay. How much? How much, how much is, is fair? What do you think? Mine is 750. 750? Um, Alright. I'll match that's that. That's some money. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Slap that 750. Background Time color, probably what, like a tan? I don't even have enough for one netherite. I need it yet. 
There we go. Um, yeah, if you ever, uh, I don't know what, uh, server you play on. I play on, um, what's the server called? Uh, Crystal Brunhilder? Do it. Want more? Do it again. Arra, arra. <laughs> like that? <laughs> or maybe, arra, arra. Uh, so if you go towards where the village is, there are giant, um, stone pillars. The smaller one has an elevator. I'm going to, uh, succumb to my sleepiness. Alright. Good night, Ito. Uh, I hope you have a good rest of the evening. And tomorrow as well, for staying up so late. Good night, Ito. Good night. Mm -hmm. Hope you guys have a good rest uh, of your day. However much before you pass out. Okay. <laughs> I've got a. I'm supposed to be going to bed pretty soon, but I'm just, you know, chilling, relaxing. Chill. <laughs> I was actually thinking about getting back into Final Fantasy. It's a fun game. It's just, I never finished, um, Shadowbringer's story. Do it. I won't have time, like, or like, it's hard for me to play games, but I'll just on my own. Well, we could always do a, um, family Final Fantasy adventure kind of thing, where we all do it on a set day of the week or something. Uh... On stream. Sounds like a commitment. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I know, right? I've been using this sword, so it's got sweeping and mending, Willy, so if you want to use the sword for a bit to kill monsters and get drops, it's too an option. Yeah, I um I did some raiding in uh, Stormbringers. Um. Okay, sounds good. Uh, and I really enjoyed that. Uh, as I thought it was going to be. <sighs> your, uh, your rig captures your tired eyes quite well, Kyoku. I'm not tired. <laughs> weird. About a month ago, I had like a almost a week straight where I was constantly yawning. Like, not just like every couple hours. Like, I mean like yawn after yawn after yawn. Whenever I was awake, I would just be yawning. Like, hours of my day was just nothing but yawning and I didn't figure it out. And then just it stopped one day. I don't like yawning. It pops up my jaw. Yeah, that's the thing. Is my ears really hurt. <laughs> So it, was, it wasn't pleasant, but... Oh. 
island. There you go. <laughs> well, I play, um, I play tanks primarily. I, uh, Dark Knight was, or Warrior was my main all the way up to Shadowbringers when I decided I wanted to play Dark Knight to fit the story, because I felt like this story was written for a Dark Knight, pretty much. Um, but I also have, uh, Scholar, White Mage, and Black Mage, all pretty high level. I was just a mage, something of a... The one with the the hoop with the ball I don't know what's the name on there. Maybe it was a book. Might have been a scholar then. No, it was a it Arcanist? Was for magic. Probably an Arcanist for a summon. Did you ever have a be like a yeah, pet? Probably an Arcanist, yeah. Yeah. I was an Arcanist. And I also got lost half of the time and I cried because I didn't know how to get around. <laughs> I, by the way, for a couple of levels, I didn't even know they had teleport crystals, and I would walk everywhere. So one thing that I ended up with, uh, I don't know if, if anyone else does this, but I play it on PC, but I use a controller to play that game. And it feels weird when I'm playing MMOs without a controller now. Hmm. Seems fun there, to get a controller. Before I had a PC, I just had a PS3. like I've noticed about 14 in particular is that its map is actually quite nice like it's got an auto mapping feature so I never really found I was getting lost too often my only issue is that sometimes the auto map would lead me to a cliff and then I'd spend like a 20 minutes trying to climb it like in Skyrim where you kind of just force your body up the cliff hmm. I don't know things if I don't understand it I'll keep trying to understand it until I get a headache and cry. Yeah, yeah, that's a pretty big issue of mine. If I don't get it on the first go, it takes me a long time to figure it out. Luckily, I, um, I grew up around MMOs. I grew up with my parents playing EverQuest on the PS2 in the living room. They had two Your PS2s set up to... Yeah, they had these CRTVs in the yeah. living room, side by side, with a pair of PS2s with these controllers, where the outside was like a PS2 controller, but in the middle was a full keyboard. And they play EverQuest 2, I think. Or maybe it's Ever a different one. Whatever the PS2 EverQuest was. And they, like, <laughs> would play that constantly. And then when I got into, like, later, my mom raided in World of Warcraft... She was a healer for some big uh, raiding guild. Your parents were a gamer. Yeah. So. I kind of grew up around RPGs in particular, so I got pretty lucky there. Uh, my parents are still adjusting to the internet. Yeah. Man, I'm getting tired. I probably should go to bed and tuck in. I got work in like nine hours. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I certainly have a lot of privilege as a gamer uh, with my parents both being okay. elite game. It's really funny. You should see them um, where they live now. Uh, they recently bought themselves a pair of really pricey Alienware PCs. 
and they both work from home. So you walk into their house, and like they got like a basement door that you enter into this room that has these two massive L-shaped desks with five monitors on them. Well, four monitors and a laptop each, hooked up to their laptop, work PC, and Alienware gaming rig. So the entire center of this room is just screens. I don't know if I'd wish my parents were gamers, but it, it seems like a fun concept. They don't play much games, funnily enough. They mostly just play, like, World of Warcraft these days. Nostalgia. But it's like, I had to tell my mom how to play Final Fantasy X for the PS4 because she was looking for her abilities for this. Just Poppy on YouTube. I'm Poppy. Poppy. I'm Poppy. That's funny. <laughs> my There was one day, it was downstairs, I was like, cooking, and then my dad starts singing the funeral song. I, and I like I did a second take at him because he was like the same person that said like, "Oh yeah, I'm never gonna have a social media because then people could find me." Oh. And I was I didn't I didn't know what you were talking when you said funeral song at first because I've only ever heard it by its actual title. By the way, it's called Astronomica. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it's a good song. It's been around for a long time. Astronomia, you're right, not Anomica. My bad. Thank you, Bubbles, well, for correcting me. called out. No, no, I love being cor corrected. Get it right. Because I, I just tend to spout um, information that I don't know is 100% accurate, but my brain just assumes it is. And then I just tell people the wrong thing. Like the other the other day when I was so confident saying that uh, Pyrrhus was a Roman general, and he was actually Greek. And I said that to an entire stream full of people. Oh, for me, it's... I'm too scared of doing anything wrong. <laughs> I just never say anything. Or, like, I'll just say... <laughs> and, yeah, I'll just probably not talk about it. Or I'll make a disclaimer. <laughs> or I'd ask if it was right or not. <laughs> the embarrassment of, like... Not being right is too much for me. Fair enough. I get that. But, uh... I'm wrong a lot, so I got used to it. <laughs> um, the... Oh, Unis Honest! I miss Unis Honest. I cried uh, so much over Unis Honest. Mm -hmm. The following week after Unis Honest ended, I just cried and cried every day. Yeah. I was like, oh, I feel so empty inside. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh yeah, on the topic of that chorus, I. Uh, I'm trying to explain to my mother why I am a uh, dragon girl on the internet was a bit of a fun conversation as well. Because, <laughs> you know, if your parents are internet savvy, they can find your Twitch account whether or not you want them to. Mm -hmm. I showed my mom. I was afraid that I'd cuss a lot. <laughs> For the first few streams, she watched me, but she's too busy, so I can talk about Mike Tyson's ass. There you go. Oh, honestly, she kind of just doesn't understand still. Um, my mom just thought I was really cute. <laughs> I just, I felt like I should ask, because, you remember how, do you know Pekora? Yes, yeah. And when she told her mom, <laughs> I was like, maybe I should tell my mom. Yeah. Why am I just running in a circle? I don't know. I'm just mostly just here to chat. I was about to bother you about it, but I was like, oh well. <laughs> uh, I don't know what I'm doing. I, I'll just farm, I guess. I might as well. You should mm. farm the potatoes. I started and then I quit. Yeah. But maybe the carrots, they pop out fast. No. Okay. Um. Parents. Parents migrated from the North Pole. <laughs> And then they, they, they went a bit down, and then they were not familiar with the internet. No, I should probably make a new hoe rather than trying to fix that one, actually. I think the whole time I tried to show my mom, she's like, how do I give you money? <laughs> And then I had to show her, and then she also subbed to me. 
That's uh, yeah. Yeah. Mo I think everyone who's subbed to me so far has actually been one of my real world friends. <laughs> Oh, really? I yeah. haven't told anyone. Or, I wouldn't say I haven't told anyone, but I keep it a secret. Yeah. <laughs> Midwest. Well, it's pretty funny. The reason actually why I started streaming was because, uh... Yeah, Echo gave you a sub. Echo is one of my one of my friends in real life. But, um... I started streaming because one of my... Or three or four of my friends said they were going to stream one day. And they've been talking about this for like six or seven years now. How they wanted to be one of the next big streamers. But no one ever did. So I pretty much decided I'd show them all up and start doing it to force them to do something with their lives. Mm -hmm. And look at me now. That's toxic. <laughs> <laughs> hey, for me, one of them lives the parent and them a job, and he's as old as I am. So. Well, for the past few years, I've been wanting to stream a bit more seriously. Mm -hmm. That I was in circumstances that didn't allow me to. But yeah. Thanks to quarantine and other stuff. I finally can do it. Yeah. <laughs> My friends have no excuses. They have uh, disposable income and no uh, real life issues or responsibilities, so they're mostly just procrastinating. That's but hey. Not... <sighs> I'm really tired. We should go to bed soon. Oh, that'd be cool. <laughs> mm. A dragon boy. My question is, with all this want to be a VTuber, mm -hmm. when will the hype die? <laughs> I think once the market truly becomes saturated, because um, you see now, if you go to Twitter, there's... I just feel like it's it's becoming super saturated. Well, that's just the thing, right? It's. Yeah. I think it's going to, pretty soon, come in. Yeah. Um, but uh, honestly, I don't. I don't mind. Um, I'm doing it because I thought it would be really fun. But uh, I used to stream with a webcam. I deleted all those clips yeah. and vods. I am not, not confident in my ability to do that. So. Well, I don't I don't like it either. It was just something that I thought, oh, if I stream, I have to do this. Yeah. And then I was like, retubing? You can do it in Ian and not be cringe? And then I was like, fine, I'm gonna do it. No. Good enough for me. <laughs> My take is that they're like fursuiters. Okay, that's a bit too spicy. <laughs> What kind of cringe? Let's be real. Um, yeah. <laughs> I always feel like I'm cringe. I don't know. No. Like I'm trying too hard. Like what? YouTubers are all kind of... <laughs> and then we're trying to like compensate and say, oh, it's okay, it's okay, we're YouTubers. Right. It's for content. No, it's an excuse no. to be cringe. I'd say I'm pretty cringy too. Sometimes I do it like ironically. Yeah. Like right. I say, ooh, oh, oh. Thank you for stopping by, Miko Scrub. Oh, Miko. Yeah. Hi, Papa. Hi, Papa. Oh, is uh, Miko Scrub your father? Miko Scrub is my father. Ah. Hey, Papa. Welcome. Welcome aboard. <laughs> Welcome aboard the Dragon Express, where I take your money and build, build it into my horde. Yeah, that's what, I, that's what I tweeted. I was like... Because my, I was trying to explain to my friend, and I was like, how do I phrase this right? And then I said, basically, we're all, like, role players playing our OCs. Yeah, yeah. But we're also making money off of it for entertainment. <laughs> yeah. Uh, 
Hey, Bubbles or Kyo, do you have any interest in things like Dungeons and Dragons or any games like that? I did play D and D a bit, but when I played D and D, uh, there was this one guy who kind of like just took over the whole campaign. Like, it, it became mainly about him. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, you RP in VR chat. Yeah. Because I was thinking of doing some streams where I wouldn't be like playing Dungeons Dragons, but showing off to people who haven't played before how to play. Uh -huh. Like making a character and running it's through all the steps of how it goes. But like you said, I think it might be a bit too complicated. It's very complicated. Ooh. My friend was like, here are the books, here are the rules, here is my world that I wrote. Read this, <laughs> read this, read that. And I was like, eh, yeah. maybe not for me. Yeah. Because the other things I was interested in is um, uh, Shadowrun as well is one of my passions. I absolutely love the cyberpunk genre, and Shadowrun also lets you, you know, have magic in it as well. So, uh -huh. but it is um, it would be described amongst anyone who plays D and D as a crunch-based game, meaning there's lots of rules, and it's mostly about simulating the like the world rather than a. It's still about telling a story, but. It's like rules to account for like wind speed and smoke in the air. It's like I get it. But yeah. Mm. So maybe I'll do some hosting streams where I teach people how to learn to play. VTubers. D &D. It'll be the will be the critical role of VTubers. <laughs> right? Yeah. Well it's like um I don't know if you follow Nor on Twitter. Um the four four eyed VTuber demon lady. But uh, her and I were talking oh, about Call of are... Cthulhu. Why things? Okay, here's the thing. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. By the way, but LARPing, but that's like in real life role play, right? Yeah, live action is what the acronym stands yeah. for. I think I get too shy and too embarrassed to do anything. I don't think I could do that. Well, I feel like people who LARP are those kids who, on the playground would like play games of pretend all the way into middle school. That I feel attacked. <laughs> but that's fine cuz those are the people who also play things like D&D or get really invested in the role playing games and like, You want to know video something well. really cringy? What? My friend group and I like in middle school. Mm -hmm. We would we would, <laughs> we would <laughs> This is why like I don't like doing anything anymore. But we would roleplay as like real creepy pasta. <laughs> oh, like cryptids and monsters. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we would all pretend to be one of them and interact with each other every lunch. Yeah. I don't know wrong with that. But a lot of those people who like to LARP, I mean, I... This is gonna be a, the ultimate nerd level here as well, but... You know how I said my parents played RPGs? Well, they also really liked... Um, what's known in Canada as the SCA, the Society for Creative Anachronism. Mm -hmm. Which is a fancy way to say pretending to be in, in medieval times. Like a renaissance fair, but yeah. medieval. So I got to go to a lot of those as a kid, and that's just adult LARPing, that's all it is. <laughs> so don't feel embarrassed, there are hundreds of people out there who just live for that stuff. Um, escape. Yeah, escapism, that's all it is. Did they really not close for COVID? Wow. Okay, I didn't know that. Um, because they've been out of it for quite a while, so of course I don't hear any news about it because I was never really in it. But, um... Yeah. Doing it in VR chat sounds a bit easier, though. It, like, it, it no really is. Because I actually see you. There's also um, a pretty common term in that kind of industry is the phrase suspension of disbelief. VR chat, it's really easy to pretend to be those characters because you look like those characters, and the people who see you see them, and you see other people in character. For some, a lot of people, LARPing has the issue of it's really hard to believe 
in the fact that your friend over there is an orc, or your buddy is a spellcaster, or whatever. You're right. Easier because of that, but latency is also plays a nose factor. <laughs> yeah, right? Like, I remember I took the um, heavy armor combat training, because I was the perfect age when I was younger to be the sparring partner for all the really young kids, because I was around the right size, but I was older than them. So I had to dress up in armor and let them hit me with swords. But, uh... How was that? Not that bad, actually. It, it, a, kids are pretty weak. B, armor is actually surprisingly good if the sword isn't sharp. <laughs> but, um... But yeah, so... LARPing does feel cool when it's everyone having costumes, but... You might end up with a, uh... How do I, how do I put this delicately? A schoolyard Kingdom Hearts moment. <laughs> I don't know if anybody's seen those videos, but, uh... That can happen when people believe too hard. Um, or just kind of play with their own rules. I don't know. I had a few friends who were really, really into LARPing, and I went to attend a couple events, but never really played myself. And sometimes the people there are um, so focused on their own experience that they kind of ruin it for others by trying to make everything about them. Similar to how you mentioned with that D&D game. D &D. Yeah. Yeah. Where it's like, I understand that you're here for your own escapism, but it's a communal activity. Every, you're, like you said, of course, everyone wants to be the main character. And, uh, yeah. This is true. Again, I don't think there's anything wrong with wanting to be the main character. It's, I think, perfectly normal. But, uh, D&D &D yeah, has a term is that is normal. useful, is the spotlight. You have to share the spotlight. Just like an actor on a stage kind of has to help other people shine. It's not just about somebody. If it is, the story tends to fall flat. At least that's my opinion. Oh, here I am. You got me too tired, and now I'm rambling. I'm sorry. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> yeah. D and D is full of fun moments like that. Um, oh God. D and D, my special power was to be super hype, and then roll like high damage and miss it every <laughs> single time. Yeah. And go fireball, and then and then I miss it. Yeah. Well, like for example, my current character in Shadowrun and the similar Nate Bubbles is the team mom, quote-unquote. <laughs> I took all the ranks in hacking defense and cyberware that heals people and being the best medicine uh, doctor you could be because everyone else has to be the really good at fighting wizards or cyber soldiers or whatever, so someone has to be there to take the backseat role. get done planting these beets, I'm probably gonna no, tuck in for I'm the night. I'm about to sleep. <laughs> Sleepy. Okay. Sleep. That's kind of cool, Bubble, or uh, Chorus. <laughs> now I know I'm really tired, I can't even read the names people who are chatting. Sleepy, sleepy. Okay. Beets are planted. Sleepy. I planted way too many beets. <laughs> Good yeah, but good night, everyone. Thank you for stopping by. I appreciate it. And thank you for hosting the uh, Phasmophobia collab, Kyoku. It was very fun. Yay. <laughs> good night. Good night.
Wait, wait, I should probably raid someone. Who should who should yeah. I raid? Um, uh, is there anyone in the family who's live right now? No. Saber's live. Let's go no. raid Saber. Good night, everyone. Sleep well. Yeah. And, and sleep well.